Well, Australia's economy underwent more transformation today, although it's looking more like a day of reckoning than the gradual rebalancing the Reserve Bank is hoping for. 1,400 workers lost their jobs as the Perth-based Forge Group went into administration and the unemployment rate jumped to a 10-year high. And there are clear signs that worse is yet to come for the resources industry. Neil Woolridge reports. As you can imagine, we were Two days ago, these workers had jobs on a West Australian mine site. Now they're the new faces of the swift and painful transformation that's sweeping across the economy. Obviously upset um, to feel that you've been left out of the loop as well um, with sort of no communication with anybody until that, that, that moment where they say you don't have a job anymore. Overnight, 1,400 staff at the Perth-based Forge Group were sent packing after the mining services firm went into voluntary administration on Tuesday. It's really up to uh, the company that's, uh, that's got the contract in place to uh, work out what its best position is, so there's no guarantee that those workers will find um, a job on the next contract. The job losses at Forge continue a run of cutbacks in mining services. On top of Forge's 1,400 Australian positions, the drilling services firm bought Longyear has shed 5,000 jobs from its global operations over two years, Transfield has cut 540 jobs over 18 months and Wally Parsons revealed in November it would make a still-to-be-determined reduction in its headcount. Despite those measures, mining industry adviser Campbell Jasky says it's possible another company will suffer the same fate as Forge. People like uh, Wally Parsons, for instance, will, will be feeling uh, the pressure on their, um, on their revenues, but uh, I don't think they, uh, they are at risk as such. It's the smaller operators um, who are less diversified and they're still really at risk. Campbell Jasky expects another two years of flat or negative growth for mining services firms and the government's official forecaster is predicting that investment in mining and energy projects will more than halve between 2015 and 2018. The labour market has been weakening for quite some months now and this is, if you like, just the next step along the way. This is not an aberration. I think it seems to be part of a trend that's emerging. The job losses at Forge come as the Bureau of Statistics reveal the unemployment rate jumped unexpectedly in January to 6%, the highest level in over 10 years. Across in Canberra, though, there was not much in the way of solutions. One job has been lost every three minutes in Australia since the Prime Minister was elected. When will the Prime Minister give us a real plan and start fighting for Australian jobs? <laughs> unemployment has done what members opposite said it would do under members opposite's own policies. While experts say the skills developed in mining are readily transferable to other areas like construction, that's not where the job growth is happening at the moment. The underlying momentum for the economy at the moment is being kept alive by the social care sector, the health sector, the education sector. Um, these industries account for a big slab of employment. If you took them away, then these figures would look a lot worse. So Treasury's forecast of unemployment peaking at six and a quarter percent is starting to look a little optimistic.